last time on Le Salon de Witchlight. Um, you all struck a deal with uh, Bab Lorna, slack jawed Lorna. Uh, you were in her house. Um, she wanted you to do some stuff for her. You did the stuff. You gave her back her book. You blamed um, Scabatha, Nightshade, or Granny Nightshade, as she's known. Um, and she was like, hey, steal steal this book from me, for me. Or no, steal this, uh, this portrait for me. Um, and then I can't remember what she said she would do in return. Oh, no, she said she'd give you back your stuff, which you already have. Hilarious. <laughs> well done. Um, but she, I think she gave you some info about her, right? At least. I don't know. Uh, she, like, gave, gave us directions to where it is, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Lou Would Lurch. Did she any of her weaknesses? No weaknesses, but you do know that they all hate each other, so that's fine. Um, you met... Uh, Dunk, Colt's character, the half-orc uh, barbarian from another another land, uh, who uses a giant chained book as a weapon um, for with surprising magical properties. He seems a little out of it and doesn't think anything's been stolen from him, um, but he's here. And he needs to get back home. So there's that. Uh, you all got back in the balloon. And um, no, uh, well, you flew through the mists. No sign, uh, well, well, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Through, through, flew through the mists, crashed into a tree. Uh, the, the balloon's up in a tree. No sign of, of either of your compatriots. Um, what's her name? Oh, the knight. Morgort, knight of the warts, and Clapperclaw. Gone. They're gone. Um, yeah, you don't know where they are. Oh, yeah, because we fell on a tree. You fell. Right. Down, down, down. And, uh, on the tree that you crashed into there was a wanted poster of a fluffy haired young person um that says special offer bring this imp uh, impetuous brat to me and you can claim one item of your choice from my workshop signed granny nightshade um so there's there's somebody named Will of the Feywild uh, who's running around this uh, lush forest. Um, you are you are in the forest of Thither. Thither, the second land of Prismir, surrounded by these mists. Ooh. Um, so what do you all want to do? You're kind you're kind of, you're at the, the base of this tree and you don't really have much of a heading. Um, you just crashed your, your balloon. Tree's pretty big. But we can see each other, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, you're all here. Violet's here. Had, had we not jumped, I thought we jumped down and there was like a cliffhanger. Was it just the poster? The yeah, I, I think I just said the poster. I don't remember there being We're a cliffhanger. We're still in the tree. <laughs> I think we ended with me being like, I don't understand. I thought there was supposed to be one of like one of those little guides like a clapper claw around here. Can't find him uh, in the book. Uh I think we're done. <laughs> <laughs> I've since found uh, where that guide is, not where I thought it would be, <laughs> and not here. You are, Great. you are essentially kind of uh, lost in the woods. 
<laughs> as it were. We don't need them anyway. That's true. Uh, so we're down from the tree, and you are down from the tree. I thought we were in the tree still. No, you're you're at the base of the tree, and you you see this poster at the at the base of this tree. Oh, for some reason, I thought we were like halfway up a tree, and there was a poster. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, this because is the... that is Feywild. That's true. You know, so the squirrels uh, know yeah, that so this kid's squirrels, wanted. Yeah, so the squirrels want this. And then, other than that, everything around is like uh, foresty. Yeah, it's like pretty that. thick foresty. Yeah. Okay. Um, Last time it was like swamp. This time, like forest. Correct. Lush, green, big, tall trees of oak and ash, and um, you know, some redwoods. Sure. Let's put those in there. <laughs> There's some bottoms screaming right now. About no! Oaks and redwoods! And redwoods. <laughs> Cypress. Which way Cedar. should we go, you guys? Um, that, that way? <laughs> you just pick a, you just pick a direction. Poppy, you lead the way. No. <laughs> I got this. Uh, I'm going to roll a d4, uh, and it's going to be, like, the four different tiles that we can choose. Uh, you can pick one, two, three, four, five. You can pick six different tiles, actually, because this is a... Are, are we not on... Can we go into the fog? The fog yeah. is the those mists that if you go into it, you find yourself just wandering right back out. Oh, I see what yeah, you're saying. It, it's... One. Yeah. Two. No, I, 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 correct. Jimmy is correct, and you are correct as well. I forgot about the the mists. Yes. So you have, right. you essentially have four directions. So one, two, three, four. I roll a d four. Okay. So you're going down. Four. Going into the mist. <laughs> So on your way to the, uh, so you 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 just like start like buzzing around and may like like uh, Poppy's like pulling at your waist, right? So you're like, wow. Um, Didn't we transfer Poppy to someone else? Oh, I I don't remember that. Does anybody let's else? Make, let's make sure we have that locked down. Sure. Who's Poppy connected often. to now? I think Poppy is connected to Emily's character currently. That oh. feels correct. Okay. So Violet's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> You're going too fast. <laughs> too fast. You're going too fast. Like a, a Plymouth car. Mint like a green Buick Skylar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mint green. Metallic. Anyway, um, <laughs> and you just start buzzing, Poppy. You're like, I, I get to, I get to go a random direction. I'm just gonna go. And um, he thinks it's the right direction. Of course you do, but it's, it's also, not random to her. It's also to you. So, um, <laughs> and you, you uh, start going uh, just full, full steam ahead. And what happens is you you're you're kind of running through the the forest. Everyone's having a harder time keeping up with you because you're buzzing, right? Going over gnarled roots and like some boulders and and like outcroppings of fern and um, like branches and brambles and things like that. And you come over a ridge and you are looking down at um, a cave there's a cave kind of coming out of a out of a, a hillside and cozy torchlight radiates from uh, the cave in a wooded hillside about 20 feet from the cave is a tree with another uh, one of those posters on it, um, and it's nailed to the trunk. 
I think we're going in the right direction. <laughs> um, so do, do you want to uh, take a look at the... Wait, can you reveal the map? Well, so bef this is before you, you leave this tile, because the cave actually is on oh. the tile I, I dumped you on. Oh! <laughs> oh, no! I wanted to... It's all right. You're on your way to, to that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. We, you're... Should, we should go in the cave, right? I mean, yeah. the, the cave has, as and I quote, cozy torchlight. Um, this cave looks cozy. Let's go inside it. It's it's giving cozy. It's giving cozy, it's you giving guys. Cozy. Uh, do you want to read the the poster? It's the same poster, right? Do you want to take a look at the poster? Okay, I'm gonna read this poster first. <laughs> roll, roll a d8. <laughs> here I go. Here I go. They here love I go. posters here. I here. Go. <laughs> Eight. Okay, um, on this poster is a similar picture of the uh, uh, large-haired youth. And it says, Wanted, Will of the Feywild. But underneath the, the portrait, it says, How dare this ragamuffin defy me! Bring him to me alive and unharmed, and I'll grant you a loyal servant! Ragamuffin? How old do they look in the poster? Tweens. Like a tween. Okay. Like a like a like an eleven twelve. Gross. Like a the, the, fifth the, sixth grader. Like child look. I hate children. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's go in this cave. Maybe that maybe maybe they're in there. So you uh you approach the Wait, cave. Wait, I don't really? hate children. I've literally helped them in the past. I got my character confused. <laughs> <laughs> As we all do. Character bleed is real. Um, and from inside the cave you hear, um, Hello? Hello? S somebody there? Hello? My name's Poppy Seed. <laughs> oh, visitors! Oh, wonderful, wonderful! Oh, come on in! And you hear the uh, reedy voice of a old elderly gentleman. Um, and... As you walk in, you see that inside the cave, there's a wizened old man. He's wearing a blindfold, and he's really? sitting at a spinning wheel. But that's not what catches your attention, because surrounding him are piles and piles of gold coins. This cave is lousy with gold. You guys remember um, in Aladdin... Where the Cave of Wonders. Uh, it's like a yes. really mini version of that. But they're, they're just room. like... It's one it's like room. Harry Potter's vault. <laughs> it's got Gringotts energy, really. Um, so he he's sitting at a spinning wheel. Okay? And he picks up a pile of coins in his hand... And as he brings it to the spinning wheel, the gold coins all lengthen and turn um, to, uh, like, golden fibers. Okay? And he spins, and he reaches down, and he grabs these handful of coins, and they transform into the, the, these gleaming fibers, and he begins to spin the gold. And he says, welcome, welcome in! My name is Nib. This is my cave. And uh, I, I welcome you. Rule of hospitality. Come on in. I Let me tell you my tale. And perhaps you will be able to help me out in some way. Is that... Well, oh, when, geez. Okay. When, when you can tell us your tale. We're not <laughs> promising anything. No, of course not. No, no. I mean, just coming in is already... Let me tell you about it. Because it's a whole thing. Um, Did everyone follow me? Yeah. How many people? Okay. I hear about three, but I feel like there's maybe five. Can, Can I, I sit, sit on, on your, your coins? coins? Wait, is oh. this guy blind? What's that? Is this guy blind? He is blindfolded. He's he's. Oh. 
Yes. So once again, uh, why is an old man wearing a blindfold sitting at a spinning wheel surrounded by piles of gold? He spin as he spins, he reaches down and grasps handfuls of coins, which transform at his touch into gleaming gold fibers. So he's like, oh, let, let, let me get you a chair. And he picks up a pair of knitting needles and he <laughs> knits you a fucking chair, bro. He like <laughs> knits you a chair in front of your goddamn eyes, and it's it's a like a beautiful gold. stuffed chair. It, it's not like completely gold, right? It's got a lot of like gold filigree, um, but it's this like cool, comfy, kind of high backed chair. Um, and he's like, here, take a seat. Can I I'll, I'll t t tell you about what, what, I've, what I've been going through? Yeah, yeah all right. right. Anybody else? Anybody else? A, ch a chair or something? Yeah, yeah yes, absolutely. absolutely. We, we need, need five, five total, total, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Could you There's... make mine a rocking chair? You got it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> he, knits you, he knits you up a, a, a fucking, like... Like, really warm pine with, like, there's, like, lines of gold in the grain of the pine, right? And it's, like, shellacked, and it's got this, uh, like, lovely little uh, cushion seat. Um, uh, Laz, you get, a, you get a lazy boy. Put your feet up. Put those big old, <laughs> right. put those big old stompers up. Yes, yeah, baby. Um... Dunk gets a stool, like a bar stool. He's really awkward on it because he's so huge. And um, uh, Violet gets a witness chair, like in a courtroom. Because <laughs> my cousin Vinny, because that's why. Um, <laughs> anyway. So he's like, let me tell you my tale. I led a cruel and heartless existence. I earned these riches, and he gestures around him, by exploiting my tenants. I was a landlord in the town of Waterdeep. Uh, but I bought up condemned property and rented it out at exorbitant fees. I struck a deal with Granny Nightshade. I, towards the end of my life, felt like I must make amends. And I felt terrible and she offered help. At the time, she presented herself as a kindly old woman who was looking for a place to stay. And we struck a deal that she would help me make amends for the terrible deeds that I've committed. I told her I w wanted to put my bad deeds behind me and my ill-gotten gains to good use. And as you, as you hear him saying this... Um, the uh, the whole place is kind of illuminated by this gold, right? You get a very magical feel off of this gold in this cave. The the warm light is is emanating from the gold itself, but the light that is cast casts this shadow behind him, and you can see kind of emerging from the shadow. Like, every now and then, there's a flicker of a figure that comes from his shadow. Um, you see, like a, like, a small child kind of, like, reach out from behind the shadow and try and grab something. You see, another second, you see a gaunt coachman looming, like, his big top hat coming up from behind. You see another long, uh, the the a long-faced woman dabbing at her eyes from the shadows. Is it, is it, is it like, like going, going along, along with, with the story he's telling? Not it, not necessarily. It just seems like every now and then, and they, they're kind of like reaching for him. 
coming from his shadow. They're like these dark figures that are like kind of like looming up and coming down and like coming in and out of existence. Um, she cursed me to dwell forever in this cave, spinning my gold into useful items for anyone who comes my way. Um, what do you, what do you eat? Gold. Is it good? No. It's a little <laughs> heavy. <laughs> No chocolate gold coins? <laughs> yeah, no, what about, is, that, is, that, is that cheating? Is that no gelt. No gelt here. No. Oh. Hey. Any second. Any second now. I'm not going on until she's on fully. I'm not continuing. So everyone just settle in. Until Emily that? figures it out. I'm trying! <laughs> Hi! Uh... Hi! Doing it! Hello! Uh, Hello. Emily, name a, name a chair that you like to sit in. Quick, Emily, name a chair that you like to sit in. Beanbag! Alright, so Violet's chair instantly goes from a court courtroom chair to a, bean, a golden beanbag chair. Violet's chilling in a beanbag chair. What is happening? Made of gold. We went into a cave. There's an old man there. And he is blindfolded, surrounded by tiny little gold coins. He sews the gold coins into furniture. <laughs> he used to be a landlord. And that's why he has so much money. He was uh, basically screwing over his tenants. And he made a deal with Bablorna. Nope. With one of the other ones. Scabatha, Scabatha, Nightshade. Oh, sorry, Scabatha. And we're, he's going over the details of the deal right now. I see. Interesting. I'm right. ready. So, welcome to my cave. I can't leave until I've spun all my gold into things for people to use. And I am tormented by the memories and shadows of those I tormented. And then at that, one of the um, shadow people, like, pokes him in the rib real hard with its little shadow hand. And he's like, oh, ah! Ouchies. Yes. Well, I don't get it. What is, uh, what is Scabbath to get out of this? What were you hoping to get out of this? Well, I thought she was going to be nice and help me, like, give back, I guess. Um, but she's just, uh, profiting off of my misery in her own haggy way, I guess. It's probably, ha hag magic is just sort of whatever you want, it feels like. Hag magic is kind of whatever you want, really. <laughs> it's wibbly-wobbly, like haggy-waggy like stuff. Off, fills up her crystals or, like, whatever to watch uh -huh. you suffer. She loves it. She loves me suffering. And I'm gonna suffer for a while, because I made a fuck ton of gold! I was really good at it! And you can see his, his face kind of, like, animates at that. His, he's, like, drawn and, and narrow face. Uh, and he, like, catches himself and he's like, Nope! Put that behind me! And uh, at that, one of, the, <laughs> one of the shadow things, like, appears and, like, baps him on the back of the head. Oh! I know! I know! I'm sorry! <laughs> can, can, we, like, can we, like, have some of the gold? Or, like, like what's, what's going on? Well... Of course, um, you're welcome to it, but um, it is cursed. The gold, the gold is cursed. The okay. gold itself is cursed, but I'm just supposed to make useful things. So um, you can help me out by uh, taking something. I can make you something. Can you uh, can you make a language then? Make a language, more like physical objects. I have a list. Um, uh oh, <laughs> I see. And I have a golden scarf. This is a mechanical man. I, I mean, so here's here's how this works. Ooh, golden socks. I, I can definitely do all that. And I don't ask I don't ask for anything in return, but you know, 
And with that, he gets he gets poked by another little shadow thing, and he's like, I, I know, I know. I'm not asking for anything in return. But here are some examples of things I can make. An amulet of proof against detection and location. I can make a bag of holding. I can make boots of elven kind. I can make a bracers of archery. I can make a cloak of protection. I can make gloves of thievery, a wand of secrets, or I can make a tiny hourglass that functions like an elemental gem of the blue sapphire arrow elemental variety. You know, boilerplate stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna want them uh, them gloves. You got it. How many is it like helpful if we if we're like, hey, make us like a million gloves? Like, is that helpful? Well, so the thing is that I'm I'm kind of cursed to only make one free thing per person. But if you want anything after that, I can we can we can negotiate. I'll have to give them to the shadow people who torment me constantly. I don't I don't get any of you. What is the wand of secrets? I don't know. You have to look it up. So, um, uh, do you want the gloves of thievery or the, uh, the bracers the, of archery, Jimmy? The oh, actually. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. So once again, that's uh, amulet of proof against detection and location, bag of holding, boots of elven kind, bracers of archery, cloak of protection, gloves of thievery, wand of secrets, or a tiny hourglass that functions like an elemental gem of the blue sapphire aramental... Era, era Variety. How much is the second thing? <laughs> um, so he can make... If a character asks Nib, his name is Nib, to make something specific, Nib honors that request and provides the desired item is... Provided the desired item is a non-magical item worth no more than a thousand gold. So if you want socks or a scarf, he can... So we can only ask him for one of those things, no matter what. You can, you can ask for one magical thing. He'll make you, like, a scarf or socks or whatever for one trinket, essentially. Sure. So if you want to mm. give him a... So if you want a magical item, that's free right off the bat. If you want anything else he'll ask, that's non-magical, he'll ask for a trinket. And re, well... Donation is strongly suggested. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, if it's a if it's another magical item, um, it it needs to be a common or uncommon. Um, he will ask for two trinkets for a, a common magical item, and f I'll say. Yeah, I'll, I'll say three trinkets for for an uncommon magical item. So if I want the cloak of protection, I just give him one magical item? Or one regular item? Trinket? Yeah. I got no, 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 no. So if you want the if you want the cloak of protection as your free thing, he'll give you that for free. And it's got gold, it's not like completely golden, but it's got like gold embellishments and stuff. Um, yeah, I want, I want all the arm, the arm stuff, please. All the arm I would, stuff. I would love to give you two trinkets for, for two to total items. Okay, so you get the bracer, bracers of archery and the gloves of theory, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Great. Because that shit seems dope as fuck. Oh no, here we go. Are you putting that on your own sheet, or do you want to work on it? Yeah, I, I forgot. forgot. I, I always pop out my character sheet, sheet but if, if I do that, then you can't drag and drop. I can't fucking drag and drop. Roll twenty. May, do you have uh, something? Um, Mr. Nib, uh, how, how does this curse of yours work? Like, do you keep going until you run out of gold? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How much gold do you have in here? 27,213 gold pieces. 
27,000. Uh huh. Give me, give me one moment to think there, Nim. <laughs> Um, if you ask for a common magical item, it uses up 100 gold pieces. Uh, an uncommon uses up 500. So, so it's not, like, related to what you make at all. Like, if, if I ask for a non-magical item. Well, um, I would say, like, a big non-magical item, probably, let's say, 10. I'll take... I'll, Probably about ten, ten gold pieces to do that. So, so it doesn't have anything to do with like weight of the item you're making. Listen, baby, it's magic. <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm blindfolded over here. Anybody want to know about the blindfold? I do. Oh, oh, Raise there you are. Hand. The, you have to tell him. In the beanbag oh. chair. I you hear guys, it. I. Sorry, I have been a little zoned out. I have not been paying attention until up until like the last two minutes. Sure. What? Sure. What is happening? So now that you've asked me, I am haunted by my own words. As long as my ill-gotten gains, uh, as long as my ill-gotten gains were put to good use, my bad deeds would remain behind me. You are beholding the restless operations of those I hurt. They lurk behind my back, tormenting me with pokes at my ribs and whisperings in my ears. I can't bear to look at them in the eyes. Not after what I did to them. So I wear this blindfold. Ow! <laughs> Somebody pokes him in the ribs. Ow! Ow! Self-blindfolded. I am self blindfolded, and I can't leave the I can't leave the cave until I've spun up all this shit. How long do you think it's going to take you to spun spin all this? See, that's the thing. I can only give things to people who visit me because I can't leave. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow, you're waiting for wandering people to come in. Oh boy. To stuff. And I'll tell you what, not a lot of folks come through. It's almost like. The land has been segmented into three discrete zones that people can't travel between. Oh. I don't know. That's just a hunch. Do you think if the hags weren't in power anymore, more people would come by and you would get freed sooner? And Holy smoke! If the hags weren't in power anymore, I probably could leave. Okay. <laughs> and then Let's I could start the like a, I don't know, an orphanage or something. Well, maybe just do public housing. Like, I'll go back to Waterdeep and use my funds to uh, to make affordable free housing for people. Waterdeep? Yeah, I live in Waterdeep. I mentioned that earlier. Oh, my friend Gail's from there. Yeah, yeah. He sounds hot. Yeah, we're sort of... No, we're not dating. My friend is dating him. <laughs> Kind of on and again, off again, maybe. Maybe it will. They I don't know. I haven't talked to her a long time. It's been like a really long time since she Months? was talking to Gail. Yeah. I don't know. Life gets in the way sometimes. Anyway, yeah. who wants some shit? <laughs> who wants some Anyways, stuff? Um, okay, I think I have a handle on the situation now. Sure. Um, is this a thing like you only have one cloak of protection and so the... No, you want a cloak it? of protection? I'll give you another one. Shit. You can make like whatever. What's, what is the wand of secrets? I don't know. It's a secret. You have to look it up. I'm so intrigued. Wand of secrets. Basically, when you, it has three charges mm -hmm. and basically you cast it being like, is there a trap door in this area? And if it's within 30 feet, the wand will point you in the direction of the trap. Sounds, sounds kind of shitty to me. I, I wouldn't make that. Like a secret door. Yeah, that feels Maybe. like a very specific thing. It's almost like if you had somebody with really high perception. Oh, no. I just want to zoom in on this little buddy. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Um... Yeah, like if somebody was really perceptive and like a roguish type, it's like, why would I have this wand? Yeah, it seems kind of like an item 
for a party that doesn't have somebody who's good at spotting yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It just has such an intriguing name. It's a great name. It is. But it, it sounds fun. As somebody who's gotten beat up a lot, because I didn't really learn a lot of violent spells, maybe I should also have a cloak of protection and be boring. Sure. Your uh, majesty, of yeah. course. But it's I'm trying to get the golden protection. One at a time, please. Your Majesty, would you like to go first? No, no. Please, Poppy. I'm trying to add the cloak of protection to my character sheet, but it's not working. Where is this place that you're adding stuff from? If you go to the books tab, you can search for items. And no, it's then on just there. Them. But I... I it's on there? Yeah, look at the bottom of your item list. But it didn't affect my armor class. Well, you gotta yeah. equip it still. It's equipped. Ooh. No, it's equipped. But it didn't bring up my armor class. It did. It brings it up by one. You were a 12. You're now 13. Oh, damn. Yeah, so if you good. unclick that blue check, Dylan, you'll see it change. Mm, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, yeah. And, you know, I can do common and unkind, um, uncommon things for uh, for a suggested donation if anybody wants them. Yeah, I want something. I want stuff. Okay. Ask away. I have to, like, look it up? Yeah, you've got to ask. I'm not, I mean, if you want something from the list, I can just give it to you, but... Violet is very smart and knows a lot of things. Emily is like, ugh, I don't want to look up my <laughs> Just go ahead and Google a list of common and uncommon magical items. Ooh. I'd like to trade him my hoodie that I got at the uh, the inn for a uh, for some gold socks. Oh, yeah, that sounds great. He knits you up some, like, and they're bright gold. These are, like, bright gold socks. Hell yeah. No holds bar on the on the gold. Oh, like fuzzy socks. Oh, yeah. They're, they're like, microfiber cozy socks. Thank you. He puts on the hoodie. This is nice. It's got, like, little, uh, like, legs coming out of the bottom. Because it was the house with all the legs. Oh, right. <laughs> sure. Oh, Dane. Dane, you can't let me do this. What am I? What is hey. have anything on the list. This what? is too much. What do you want? Like, I'm going to get a broom of flying. Is that uncommon? It's an uncommon item. Fly with me. Let's all fly, and we can be like a pack. I mean, if you want to, Spencer, you do what you want, says Nib. <laughs> uh, what's it worth? Because it can't be worth more than a thousand gold pieces. There's a couple of restrictions. Oh, no. well, I thought that was for non magical items. This doesn't have Correct. A, a cost on it, it just says. Look oh, yeah, up. If it's a magical it's item, it doesn't have a cost. So uh, there, there is, there is a like a. I think in the in the dungeon master's guide, it says what magical items are worth, generally. Well, Dan, you gotta you gotta go ahead and uh, figure that one out. Sure, but, let um, me take a look. I'm looking at everywhere I can, and it's what a good brother. Coming up blank. How do you, you add it to it closes it immediately? You can't have it. <laughs> Actually, no, because that that's that's saying by rarity, so they wouldn't. Yeah, I thought I thought they were two separate things. It was mundane items up to a thousand, or magical items or trinkets. No, I thought that's what you said. No, I said, and I will read from the book once more. Nib honors the request. For something specific, provided the desired item is a non-magical item worth no more than a thousand gold, or oh, I see what you're saying, Jimmy. 
or a magic item of common or uncommon rarity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nope, Jimmy's right. You get your broom. Oh. Thank you, Magic the Gathering Judge. <laughs> hey, syntax is important. <laughs> that Oxford comma will really come and bite you in the butt sometimes. <laughs> Do you How want that bro broom of flying, room? Spence? You can have the broom of flying. I'm looking at a lot of things, Dane. <laughs> There's so very many options. <laughs> I mean, this is from the book. Like, it, it's... If you think it'll ruin your game to have, like, it'll just be the win button for things, then don't take it. <laughs> if you want to challenge yourself, don't take it. But uh, if you want to, no. if you want to, like... It, it just fits you, right? Fuck around and it does really fit you. I think, you know... I'm saying there are so many things on this list, it's hard. Put, sure. Put me in a bed. Uh, I gotta decide so many things. Well, you only got so much time in this cave, so. And you only got so many trinkets. Should we do it that have like every additional item is one more trinket? You wanna do that? No. Spencer's like, no. I wanna, I wanna drain my supply of trinkets right here for as many uncommon things as I can. I'm worried. I'm I'm wondering what this like elemental gem actually is. Yeah, explain that one. Or I'll look it up. What's it called? Elemental gem five E, and it's attuned to air. You're gonna mean air bender. This gem contains mode of elemental energy. When you use an action to break the gem, an elemental is summoned. Oh, you can summon an elemental. That's cool. But it only works once. Mm, that's that's well, that's cool. cool. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, elementals can't really do a lot of damage, can they? Um, yeah. it depends. I mean, an air <laughs> elemental can multi-attack, so it does two slam attacks, an average of. 2d8 plus 5 damage on a slam, and then it can win, whirlwind somebody. They, can, they fling them around a little bit. Thanks. They're a challenge 5. Air elementals are a challenge 5. So that's, you know, nothing to snort at. Guys. Spencer's oh, gonna gosh. break the game. Oh no, very rare. Never mind. Mm -hmm. This is takes so long. Yeah, yeah there's a lot like going on. Doing this now, like they, this is what they want at the start of this chapter. Wow, <laughs> our characters to become broken. Uh, apparently. I'm trying to also think about. You know, what, what makes, makes sense, sense for the character. character. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, common and uncommon? Correct. Uh, a character might feel obligated to honor the rule of reciprocity and offer Nim something in return for his gifts. Nibs kindly accepts whatever the characters offer, but isn't looking for help to end his curse, because as long as Granny Nightshade remains in control of thither, thither he sees no hope of escape. I really appreciate all this, but uh, I'm not getting out of here anytime soon. Wait, maybe we should just let Dame know later, because this is a lot to read. Yeah, you guys wanna you guys wanna do a laundry list? Is, yeah, is it okay to say we're coming back later to like sure. view what actually happens? Maybe. I also have a question of: Do we think Matt's coming back? No. No. Because I see blood of the lycanthrope anecdote. <laughs> Antidote. Antidote. Anecdote? I think Matt's coming back. Antidote. Antidote. I mean, we all in our heart of hearts know Matt is always with us. I'm going to get that bottle just in case. Just in case he wants to know. 
Um, yeah. yeah. Let, okay. okay. We, we can, can move, move on, on and I can look at this later. later. Gosh, more homework. Oh. Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. I also did not level up, which I will. Oh do. shit, dude! Do it that now. I am. I will. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'll take the Cloak of Protection for free, and then, yes, I will definitely come back and we'll all give you some trinkets for some stuff. That sounds great. Wait, so for reciprocity, should we give him a trinket for the free thing? If you want, but I, I'm going to give you this at least one thing for free anyway. Is reciprocity like you can take it for a smile? Yeah, give me a smile. I can't see it. Oh, fudge. But I can um, hear you smile. Oh. I can hear the smile in your voice. Oh, yeah, that's Don't nice. make me sing. Don't yeah. make me sing. He's yeah. blindfolded. We should probably sing him a song. I would love a song. Everyone sing me a song, please. Everyone. Uh, we sing him a song all together. Oh, my God, Emily. Don't tease me like that. <laughs> We didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the earth's been turning. I love Joel. Earthy Joel. It's so good. Got a little weird when he went into his, like, doo-wop era, but, you know, I'm not judging. Uptown girl, she's been living in the <laughs> yeah, uptown fun. world. You know the bard, uh, William Joel wrote that song about me. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. Um, would somebody put in chat that, uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess we'll all remember this, right? Can I, can I get one more thing? Sure. I, wanna, I, I just, just want a cloak, cloak of the manta ray. No big deal. Oh, you want to swim good? I definitely had that one on my short list. Yeah, we, we can, can. We listen. listen he can, can just make it out of gold. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> All this shit looks it's dope as fuck because it's gilded. Yeah. That he's giving us, just as an aside. Um. <laughs> you guys want? You guys want some cool stuff? I'm here. Knit my fucking heart out. I give him two more trinkets. <laughs> I That's think we should come back to this because it's going to take us all night. Yeah. Goodbye, Goodbye stuffed Oni doll with, with a creepy, creepy smile and one missing eye. I'll miss you. <laughs> Goodbye. He's going to love that. <laughs> hey, so you know, I met Granny Nightshade when I did my deal, right? Right, right. You guys want to know anything about her? Everything. You want me to go down my list of things that I know about her? Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. For this information, we'll sing you another song. Heck yeah. I am so lonely. Ow! And he gets poked again. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay. I was a landlord. I deserve all of this. That anyway. is true. Let's, Let's not forget, forget about that, that folks. Uh, Granny Nightshade has a key protruding from her back. It indicates her mood by how fast it turns. When she's happy, the key turns quickly. When she's upset, the key turns slowly. And when she loses her temper, the key stops completely. That's creepy. She also has many children toiling away in her workshop crafting toys. Granny Nightshade delivers the creepiest toys to children on other worlds to fill their heads with nightmares, one assumes. The hag makes her deliveries on the back of a flying rocking horse. Granny Nightshade is also obsessed with capturing Will of the Feywild. He is a boy who helped a handful of younger children escape from Loom Lurch, which is where she has all of these kids enslaved. Will of the Feywild's motley group of rascals is known as the Getaway Gang. The gang is protected by a treant named Little Oak. 
And I can show you where it is, too. But I can't leave. Yeah, if you could just put that on our map. You guys have a map? I can't see nothing. But I can point you to where Little Oak is. And he, sure. and he gets out of his chair. The shadows following, trailing behind him. And he gets to the edge of the cave and he reaches out one gnarled spindly finger. And he points out of the mouth of the cave and you can see where he's pointing. Across the map. Could we request here? Could we request uh, eyes for him? I have eyes. I just don't want to look at the shadow people behind me. Oh, okay. No, but that's really nice. It's nice of you to say. I mean, you want me to see? That's very kind of you. Thank you. I purposefully don't see so that I don't have to look at the people that I wronged in the eyes. It's sorry, Dan. Uh, it's two two items or two trinkets per item. So uh, two two for a common and then three for uncommon. Okay, I believe I said. Should have made it four. Ah. <laughs> Everything's uncommon, so it's it's fine. I get like one cool thing. Oh, good. <laughs> then it's it's actually balanced. Thank God. All right. Well, that's what I got for you. Um. Thank you. You're welcome. Can I, can I get uh, Wisdom of the Crowd for a moment to determine what items I should get? Spencer uh, would like to survey the group. Do we think that if we, I got Sending Stones, we would do anything with it? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What are those? The, like, That's like walkie-talkies. Walkie <laughs> okay, yes. Do, you need, do we need five or do you get the whole set? I only, we only get two. So, like... It would be only if we were in the party. What are, what are, what are your options? Um, I'm thinking, like, uh, probably Broom of Flying is the other one. For sure, you gotta get the Broom of Flying. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get, a, I'm gonna get the, the Stealth Amulet, the um, uh, Bag of Holding, and then uh, Witch's Broom. Now, do we not have a Bag of Holding? I thought we did. We do. We do not. We do. Yeah, I we thought I gave you one. I thought Dane just gave us one, like, last session at least. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody oh, else. chill. Never mind, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Then now you can get the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, for the Sending Stones, though, do they come in a pair? They do. So I would say I'm, I'm going to ask for a, a trinket per everyone who wants one. Well, they, they come, come in a pair. pair. Right, so you have two. Not everybody exactly. gets one. Yeah, 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 just the two. Oh, okay. I mean, so wait, can someone for can every someone for every additional uh, stone, whoever wants an additional oh. stone, oh. pay a trinket and get a stone? I, I, I could, could fuck, fuck with that. that. That's a deal I can really send my stone on. What? Bruh. Jimmy, what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> One more time? <laughs> uh, yeah. I hand my trinket to May. He's like a he's like a three D printer. Put a little stank on it. That's not my voice. <laughs> I heard okay. some new guys ask for a little stank on this stone. I sound, I sound different, different when I whisper, no big deal. deal. <laughs> uh, and he puts a little stank on it, and your stone looks like a poop emoji. Hell yeah. Ooh. Are they gold? Uh, they've got little veins of gold running through them. That's fine. Like I'll a like a rock. 
Goodbye, Goodbye. Golden, golden pendant charm shaped like a leprechaun. Oh, <laughs> oh, more gold. Great. That's what I wanted. Thanks a lot. Cool, cool, cool. No, 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 no. It's fine. Thank you. I'll give it to the shadow boy. This, this, this one's, one's not cursed. For, you know, <laughs> Fair enough. Way. Here you go, little shadow boy. Stop poking me in the ribs. Here, have a trinket. No, I deserve it. I was a landlord. Yeah, no, we, we you know, we're saying thank you, but, like, that's more out of politeness. Because... No, I, I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate people being polite. <laughs> also, on Christmas, I told my number one worker to he wasn't getting a raise and that he needed to work on Christmas. I said that. Does he have a little son who has a little crutch? <laughs> no, but he has a little daughter whose arm is in a sling. Oh, that's also sad and cute. <laughs> I was visited by four ghosts. Four of them? <laughs> One of them was a demon. Oh. Were they of the past, present, future, and then all timelines? No, it was past, present, future, and then imperfect past. Ah. The Z axis. <laughs> I was always terrified of the past participle. <laughs> he jumps behind Don't a pile of gold. Ghost. All right. All right, we're going to go now. Yeah, okay. Y'all come back now, you hear? Catch you later. Use up my gold. Later. Go ahead and break the game. Have fun. Oh, Yay. So uh, was I the only one that got an extra sending stone? Or are we still thinking about it? I guess we just got the two sending stones. Well, we got three. You got three sending stones because you got the pair. For I got an extra. I, I bought one for me. I guess is what it is. Oh, I thought we were just. Was that one linked to the third or are they only paired? I think, uh, I think we get the two per the item, and then each additional one is one. I see, drinking. I see. So we have three total. Oh, okay, wow. okay. Yeah, so I got it so around. The, the I first know. two aren't the dealing. Okay. So we can be in three groups. If you want to give up another trinket, you can have your own. Nah. Well, <laughs> I think if we're in so more than three groups, time. we're going to die. <laughs> I couldn't go anywhere by myself, so it's pointless for me to get one. That's true. Yeah, also, I'm telepathic. Up to you a point. We, did we know that? Oh, whoops, and you hear in your head, <laughs> yeah, I can see anybody telepathically who's within 60 feet, just FYI. I think in my head, can you, can you hear me, though? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think well, I just have thoughts. That's true, too. I can also detect thoughts with this helmet. Uh, oh, yeah. But again, these are all in limited ranges, whereas the Sending Stones, I'm pretty sure, are... Cooler. Long, long range. Um, For long distance relationships. Yeah, That's this right. is just like a quick text. Oh, cool, they have a beam now. Wow. I have given him six trinkets then for the sending stones <laughs> in the room. And um, Violet, I think you're getting a sending stone because, yeah, you are. Congratulations. Because you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. There's also Dunk. Okay, Dunk's you guys, I super trust Dunk, but like he's not even in the cave with us. He's out picking flowers, so like, mm. Hey, yeah. has anybody ever realized that flowers are kind of like little faces? Oh, <laughs> I have realized that. Hey, that's great, he says. All right, he's back in the circle of trust. I like him. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, uh, where would you all like to go? I thought we were going in the direction that I chose, Dane. 
Sure, you can do that. You now know where you are going, though. So you were originally going to go down here. Yeah. But you now know that uh, Little Oak is up here. I think we uh, we let Poppy get so excited to choose one that we, we kind of like feel bad. And you honor it. That's great. That. Yeah. She never gets to choose where we go. Never. <laughs> literally, quite literally. All right. So not only do you move to this space, but you also reveal the map scale. <laughs> Ooh. Love that. I love that for y'all. For some reason, they put this on the uh, the GM layer. The, the scale in miles and the, the letters or the numbers for it, which is fucking hilarious. They're like, ooh, don't let the players know what the scale of miles is. You get rid of that little black triangle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting rid of it. Bothering me. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Scale and miles. Ooh. We know the scale now. Yeah, so you go five miles. Cool. Um, and now it's time for everyone's favorite mini game. Yay. What's that random encounter? Somebody roll me a D8. I'll do it. I'm rolling it. Ba, ba, no one ba, else do it. I'm rolling. Get a good one. So, you are traveling through some foothills. The rocks are striated. Um, it's giving very much like Bryce Canyon. There's some hoodoos. Um, there's some scrub brush. There's some sandy soil. Um, there's a little creek. Um, it's very brisk lovely and as you come around a trailhead everybody make perception checks for me quick someone use the wrong secrets <laughs> <laughs> no no i might i might have to take a quick dog bio break I'll be oh back. sure 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 and take the dog out okay All right. Oh, there we go. Um, May, you are the one who uh, hears it first. The uh, the sound of hooves um, on on ground, um, the sandy soil around you, this the sandstone hills. Um, uh, coming around one of these like sandstone pillars. Um, you see a very wait, large... Wait, wait, before, it, before I see it, I yell, Zebras! <laughs> what? Because I heard, I heard it of beats. Right, zebras. Um, around one of the, uh, the <laughs> sandstone pillars, you hear, go, 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 go. And, um... You see a very large centaur man. Um, he's got a long gray beard, long gray hair that fall down to his shoulders in kind of a wave. Um, he is bare chested um, and he's got the like slight sag to his skin of an elderly gentleman. Um, still fit, still, still centaur-y. So, like, that kind of confusingly sexy. Um, the, uh, the horse part of him um, is a painted palomino um, with uh, bright silver patches. Um, he approaches and he says, um, um, gallops up and he says, Oh, greetings. Ah, uh, you, you must leave this place. This realm is fading away. I 
am Winterbow. And I am a denizen of Frismia. I must warn you. Frismia is not long for this world. That's well, what I wanted to that, say. Was that, was that bow or bow? B O W, winter bow. A cute little white, you know, with like maybe some snowflakes. No, no. <laughs> oh, you mean like the wet, oh, the weapon? Yeah. The winter's bow. Yeah, winter bow, yes. No, this is, this is D D, you're right. You. The, the winter's bone? <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure we went through this just a moment ago. Who are all of you? What are you doing? What are you doing here? You must escape. You must. You must leave. Yeah, I just saw the world ripping apart a little bit. Just you know, like some. Oh. Oh, I have been here since before the mists. Uh, before the, before the. The three took over. I was separated from my clan. They were able to escape, but not I. I was too old. Do you all have a method of escape? No. We're, 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 we're kind of going, going north. We got, we got, got you know, we, we, I lean in. It's like, we went, we went the wrong way on purpose, but, but we're, we're going, going north. I I think it is entirely appropriate that your whisper voice is the same as your normal speaking voice. I just Thank decided. You. Sometimes to, that's different. Sometimes, Sometimes that's a little. I decided to comment on that <laughs> for no particular reason. Anyway, well, um, are you all familiar with the fairy circles? Yes. <laughs> Um, so you do know about fairy circles, being a fairy. Obvi. Obvi. Hello, I'm a fairy. <laughs> oh, I didn't notice you. But I'm way bigger than most fairies. How yes. do you not see no, me? I... And your wings don't flap, which is... No. Also, a... kind of a, kind of a take on fairies. Anyway, so you what know. Do you mean I am a fairy. Thither is one of the last places that, in Prismia, where the fairy circles have endured. The fairy circles, of course, can transport you from this plane to another. Avi. Avi, yes. <laughs> but I warn you. The evil hag Nightshade has corrupted them. There are, That's not possible. There are some that have endured and have remained unscathed, but I warn you, some are corrupted. It is definitely possible, my dear, I'm sorry to say. So I warn you, when approaching a fairy circle, do not blindly trust its magics. How will you know which one's which? It's hard to say. But I heed your warning. It is a way to escape this place. But maybe not the most dependable. That is all! I am away! And he got gallops off. He's on a horse? That's so weird. I, if I knew he was on a horse, if, I, if I'd seen with my eyes the horse, I would have... Uh... I'm a... I'm a centaur! <laughs> oh, I was confused. <laughs> I was confused about him. Entirely. Maybe you didn't hear that part, but I'm, I'm a centaur! <laughs> Painted Palomino! What is that? What? Is that I what that means? I love that character, Dane. That was a good one. You said that, and I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, it's a type of horse. Oh. Okay, that mm -hmm. would explain it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the horse part of him is a painted palomino with bright silver splotches. 
Cool, cool, cool. Where do y'all want to go? Um, I think I'm going to lead us north now. It's like the most regular horse color. Right here? The Palomino? Yeah. He's a paint, he's a painted horse. So he's got like all the splashes. He's like a calico. Oh, painted. It might be a different horse type. Oh, I, I just. Okay. No, yeah, painted. Yeah, I see. I see. Painted. It's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Calico ish. Drop it in chat. Ooh. Drop it in chat. Ooh. Drop it in chat. Ooh. Drop it in chat. Me? Uh, Spence, you want to move the, the marker to where you want to go? Oh, yeah. I can move it. I forgot about that. Yeah, I moved. I, I did it for everybody. I kept, like, trying to ping where I wanted to go. Oh. Well, it's been oh, a while. Oh, Emily missed the painted Paladino. Palomino. It's in the, it's in the chat. But she didn't see that she didn't meet the centaur. Spencer, give me a D8, please. That's a four. That's right, Emily. Better than yours. Ha <laughs> ha. Good job. Good job. Um, so you are uh, traveling deeper into the forest. Yeah, this this should be fine. Um, are you sure we're going the right direction? <laughs> Anybody have a uh, passive perception of thirteen or higher? Me. You do. What's your passive? I'm thirteen. Oh, great. So you are attuned not only to the Feywild, but to nature itself. Hell yeah. Um, and as you are uh, moving through the... deeper into the forest out of these foothills, um, you come to a bit of a clearing, and what everybody sees is a fairly normal clearing, but what you see, Poppy is the back of a um, bent over um, softly weeping dryad. There's a softly weeping dryad right there. As you say this, she looks up and uh, she uh, points a finger at all of you. And she says, um, There! Mercenaries! Attack them! And oh. from around you sprout seven awakened shrubs. I liked Emily's roll better. <laughs> um, she says, Show these villains the true meaning of revenge! Now, if anybody has anything they want to do, they can do it, or we can roll for initiative. Um, well, there, mu there must be some sort of mistake. <laughs> you put your hands up like that? Yeah, but like, if I need to draw my weapons, that's fine. <laughs> um, they're, they're attached to me. Roll a, roll a persuasion check. I need I also put my hands up with advantage. Can I? Ugh. You did it before he said, uh, if, if you all put your hands up. Man. I, I put my hands up, and uh, can I also cast a uh, silent image such that it makes um, uh, Violet look a lot more like nature-y? Interesting. Like, you know, just like... Um, give me a sec. Uh, what's the, what's the, uh, stats of that image? To see through it? Uh, 
it's going to be DC... 14. Invest intelligence. Investigation. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't notice. Um, she says, hold, hold. And all of the shrubs, like, with their, their, like, thorny branches out about to strike, uh, freeze and begin to shiver a little bit. Say your peace, villain. She addresses you, Leslie. Wait, 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 wait. look. We're, we're, we're just passing through. through. Yes, and that is what... A, a denizen of, of loom lurch would say, of course. Well, I've, I've never, never even, even lurched a loom in my life, so, you know. Uh, don't, don't gotta worry about, about that from us. <laughs> and what, what of it that you're not connected to loom lurch? What would, what would, prevents me from striking you down for entering my wood in the first place? Well, well, I mean, we're, we're pretty, pretty tough. Like, like we, we don't, don't want to fight. fight. Like, like, we'll, we'll fight, fight you if you want to, but, like, we'd rather not, you know? Uh, just Give another... Roll. Just another nightshade lie. Uh, well, no. Because, like, we're, we're, like... I, I kind of... I kind of... We're, we're, like, we're, like, cool adventurers, you know? <laughs> And there's, there's like, like si five, five to six, six of us, us <laughs> depending <laughs> on how you look at it. And you are surrounded by my nature. Yeah. Nature isn't owned by anyone, it just is. I am entrusted to protecting these woods, and they will help protect itself. Well, so, so, is this your home? home? Then we are in your home, and we should be uh, treated with some... Uh, polite reciprocity is. She spits yeah. on the ground. What reciprocity did I receive from that awful murderer nightshade? Well, we're not, we're not them, so that's Ooh. sort of irrelevant. In fact, like, we hate nightshade. Yeah, pro yeah. Probably, yeah, right? <laughs> um... Oh, perhaps you're right. I was once... I was once more hospitable. Maybe not reciprocity, but more hospitable, hospitable to travelers who came through, but... Ever since... Nightshade felled... My beloved tree to make her awful toys... I have been consumed with grief. That's awful. Um, she tells you a story. Uh, that her name is uh, Meadowleaf. This is Meadowleaf the Dryad. And she, um, she tells you that she's encountered a group before known as the... League of Malevolence, who she believed were mercenaries of Nightshade. And she was able to uh, scare them off. Uh, she describes a, um, a wizard with a staff, with, uh, with a dragon at its, at its um, adorned with a dragon. She also describes a hooded orc. Um, and a, a woman with a uh, skull headdress. Um, None of this is familiar to us. No. Um, but she talks about how... Uh, she was able to kind of drive them off, um, but that her 
that her tree that she was bound to uh, was felled to make wooden toys for Granny Nightshade. Mm. And uh, that these, uh, that she believes that mercenaries are roaming the woods uh, looking for will of the of the Feywild to capture him. She uh, she doesn't apologize, but she does um, she does uh, tearfully say, um, "Please take these," and she hands you three seeds. They're sycamore seeds. She says, um, "If one." ingests one of these seeds they are able to pass through these woods without detection Ooh. oh that's awesome so uh only three seeds you get three seeds they give you the benefit of pass without a trace for one hour do you happen to have two extra seeds no i'm sorry okay I'm a stealthy okay. boy, so right. And she she breaks down and and begins silently sobbing. Oh, I played for her, um, because she gave me. I'm gonna take a seed because I'm poppy seed, um, and I'm gonna play for her the pipes of haunting. <gasps> Give me a performance check. Do I have catspiration? Uh, yeah, you have catspiration this week. Cool. Let me use that. Okay. Okay, you do a you do a pretty good job. Um, you can fill in another of your your uh, slices. Sorry, I'm practicing. I just wanted to play a sad song for your your loss. <laughs> Um, so you play a haunting melody on the pipes. You don't, you aren't able to, uh, uh, like, use the power of it, but you are able to play this melody. Um, and she, she looks at you and, and her eyes, her cheeks are wet with tears and she says, That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, and she, um, she reaches down and, uh, she pulls from the dirt just a, a little, like, uh, like a sprout that is sprouting out of the earth. And she's like, for you, for your, for your gift of music. Oh, but you just gave me a seed. I couldn't possibly. Oh, okay. And she puts it back down. <laughs> That was really nice, though. I, I appreciate it. Sometimes listening to that sad things when you're sad makes you feel better. Some people say listening to happy things, but I feel that that can be condescending. Yeah, sometimes you really feel. Sometimes I take big, heavy metal blocks and I just bang them against other heavy metal blocks, and that, that makes me feel better. And I just scream, you know? Anyway. That definitely sounds like dryad shit. <laughs> That's dryad shit for you. All right. Well, thank you. Let me be. I gotta go. I, I got a date with a weeping willow. Ooh. Get it, girl. No, it's not like that. We're gonna, we're just gonna be sad together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye, mate. <laughs> Uh, does everybody else want a bio break? Does anybody else need a bio break? Yeah. Probably should have taken the Emily's <laughs> Emily's cue and had our bio break right then. But yeah, I don't know why we didn't do that. I assumed you all would. <laughs> Sorry, Emily. That's okay. I need a human one. So. Yeah, let's take a human bio break. Okay. I'm guessing Spencer said yes too. And then there was Dane, all by himself. Hey, but it's okay. See you guys in five.
All right, all right. On the dark man. Okay, she comes to town. So for the little dirt and take a pillow for the dirt man. So he don't take me down. Under the mountain. Put a little dirt under your pillow for the dirt man In case he comes to town Put a little dirt under my pillow for the dirt man So he don't take me down To his lair under the mountain That is where he keeps his dirt Good fucking song. It's too Ooh. short. So it's a TikTok guy. He's a real musician. And he did this like bossa nova-y little, little TikTok track called Dirt Man. Put a little dirt under your pillow for the dirt man. In case <laughs> he comes to town. On Vine that was doing that. When she was just making these real insane like seven second... Little song. Song loops. Well, what I did, I love Dirt Man so much that I looked it up on Spotify because I was like, I want to hear the rest of this song. And I knew he was a musician. And it's his Spotify came up, but Dirt Man wasn't there. And it's just a TikTok song. He has since released it on Spotify. Good. And TikTok has taken a hold of Dirt Man and like people are doing hella covers of it. 
But his other stuff is just okay. It's kind of poppy. Man, I, I saw a show once. I couldn't tell you the name of the artist. And the, the live performed versions of his songs uh, were high energy. They were catchy. They were fun. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this guy. I'll buy this guy's CD. Uh oh. Sure. And I, I don't know why he was performing his songs like that because all of the songs were sad and depressing on the <laughs> album. Like, I, like record them that way if you're going to play it. It was crazy. False advertising, right. I saw him Halo like 20 years ago. See, like, I once, like, had a band that I really liked, and then I went and saw them in concert, and I'm like, oh, no, they're just a jam band. <laughs> like, they bring, they bring structure to their album, but then... Then you go see them and they're just jamming and you're like, oh fuck, I don't care about this. Was it Ween? Was it Ween? No. See, that makes a lot more sense. Dylan and Emily, you are both muted, just for the record. <laughs> yeah, we heard you. We, we're hearing all of this, Emily. Everything you're saying, we're really keyed into. Thank you for your contributions. Where are we moving next? Somebody move us. Uh. You don't want me to move you. I have the uh, power. Up. To Let's move. go up. Okay, up which up? You got everyone up can up. move the marker. Everyone's uh has control of the marker. Everyone's capable. Yeah. I will not move the marker. Is it popcorn, y'all? It's fucking ooh bay popcorn. Ooh bay. Ooh bay. Oh good. Ooh. Good as fuck. Interesting. I um I have become uh, uh, an ube slut, as the kids say. That's <laughs> um, all I want. I only want ube like boba drinks anymore. Same. Okay. I don't always have it. So you have an option here. You travel through the woods, making your way towards where Nib had signified. And you see a clearing just ahead of you to the north east. And those of the Fey persuasion get a vibe from it. Like that, there's a fairy circle over there. There's a fairy circle over there. But if you don't want to look at that yet. You can choose to move to this space next and investigate. You can do it now, or you can choose to move to this space next and investigate, or you can do a random encounter of something else. What would you choose to do? I mean, do we think the fairies are going to be malicious? Oh, you missed the, the centaur. Um... So oh, sorry. during your bio break, they encountered an elderly centaur who talked about how this world is fading and that uh, one of the ways out is through these fairy circles. Um, but he warned that these fairy circles have been, many of them have been corrupted by uh, mm. Granny Nightshade. So fairy circles can lead to other planes, um, but uh, you never know. Got it. I feel like we don't need to go to another plane yet. Anyway, like we want to go and you know fuck up Tabitha. Uh, so Dunk, I... Dunk is like, um, I'm actually looking for a way to get home. I mean, do you not want to fuck up Tabitha first? I don't know. Does she have any manga? <laughs> Probably. Wait, is that is that something Colt signed up for? Yes. He's playing baby cakes. <laughs> I'm looking for some of those illustrated scrolls. A wizard's been here. A wizard's been here. You can roll their... their <laughs> you can roll their was, poops into gold. gold. I don't get any of this reference. That's okay. But, hooray. Sometimes you just find you get what you want. It was niche when it was new, and that was a long time ago. So <laughs> you're you're fine. Magnet, Illinois. 
ran on Adult Swim from October 2011 to June 2015. And somehow it got canceled because nobody watched it, including me. But before <laughs> that, there were a number of different videos starring me, Baby Cakes, and my dad, Papa Cakes. And my friends, the Professor Brothers, and I sing songs about the lake to the lake. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for a way back to my home place. I mean, I think that's a, a personal choice you have to make if you... Yeah. No, that's want fair. Home. My name's Dunk. <laughs> okay, somebody roll, uh, uh, Jimmy, roll a D8. Okay. Because we're leaving? Uh, no, you're, you're doing the random encounter of this square. Oh, oh, oh. It's an eight. You know? Da -da 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 Eights are great. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Everybody gets a million dollars. Million billion dollars. Wow, that's that's right. It says a million dollars. <laughs> How did you guess? It's like I played the module before. It's amazing. <laughs> it's waiting so, until this moment. Uh, as you look away from the fairy circle that is in the next square, you turn and around a fairly large tree, you see a tiny table sat out. And around Ooh. this table, there are three pixies. Sipping tea and nibbling cakes. Mm. A six inch long wedge made of wood lies on the ground nearby. It seems as if the, um, the pixies are arguing. One says, obviously it's a slice of cake made from a treat. And the other says, no, 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 it's an exercise bench for mice. And the third says, <laughs> you're all silly. It's a troll's toothpick. Um, and when they see you, they, they uh, wave you over and they say, everyone, you all, come here, come here, come here. Please, tell us what this thing is. Hello. Oh, uh, hello. It's a it's a wedge of, it's just a wedge of wood. Um, yeah, should, can... we all, should we all go around the circle and give one example of a thing that it is? <laughs> Poppy does not. It looks like a like a doorstop. To me. Can uh, does Violet? So you can talk in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Can you receive messages like a knock knock? <laughs> I love the consent. I love the like. I'm not gonna directly not like speak in your mind, but I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think knock knock. Yeah. Um. I I know that I can't, but I want to say yes to that so badly. Um. Why? Just because you have uh, detect thoughts instead of telepathy. I, I have both. She has, detect, she has telepathy. If you have telepathy, I think, what does, what does it say telepathy does? Um, I just added it, so let me tell you right now. Um, where did it go? Oh, fuck. Here we go, here we go, okay. Um, mentally connecting with others. So you can speak to any creature within 60 feet. Uh, we can, uh, the communication doesn't give the creature the ability to respond to you. You can cast the detect thought spell requiring no spell slot or components 
and you must finish a long rest before you can cast this way again. Your spell casting ability for the spell is blah blah blah. They can't respond. No. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. And then I can cast detect thoughts, but you would have to look at me and like. Well, then what the fuck does telepathy do? <laughs> it's like a one-way message of just like, hey, over there. Oh, okay. So if you don't... Still, it's still cool, guys. Yeah. No, 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 it is cool. I just, I, I yeah. didn't understand. But yes, did I choose it as we were talking just now to level up? Yes. So did I have time to read the whole thing? No. But, Violet, if you, we can see if you can signal me to detect your thoughts. I'm, well, so Wait, are you I wearing the helmet? Did I get close to you and whisper in your ear? Hold on, are you wearing your helmet of detect thoughts? I am. You could blink to me, I could cast detect thoughts and detect your thoughts. There you and go. you could detect my thoughts. There we go, that's, well, that's the way. You will, you will just think I'm blinking. I don't know. That that's a Dane decision of like if you think you Yeah, think sure, sure, sure. That's fine. Do it. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Is, Do it. This is what they call a think tank. Uh, <laughs> I I'm like staring at Violet. Yeah, that's fair. You guys, you guys do it. You guys can uh, detect each other's okay. thoughts. So do it. Okay, I ca I cast detect thoughts. Pixies are tricksters. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Perfect. Well, well, let's just like let's just play along and see what they have to say. Uh, so they um they hear uh Lazuli say uh door stop and they all kind of like wrinkle their noses and they're like door stop door stop All right. We can see that, but that's boring. I wish it, it was be, like a... It could be tree uh, cheese. Is that yeah. more mystical? Make a deception check. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm just making a suggestion for something they, would, they might like. Let me just tell you, they want to believe a lie. Oh, okay. Uh... Good. Yeah. Um, so they're all like, tree cheese. Tree cheese. <laughs> tee -hee, tee -hee, tee -hee, tee -hee. And they all like start clapping. And then they, they all like start whizzing around your head. And they're like, we don't care if that's true or not. That was amazing. Tree cheese. <laughs> uh, I've got nipples. Can I make cheese? Um, and then one of them like hovers right in front of your nose and takes out uh, like hammer space, like takes out a giant reed whistle, giant to them. It's about as long as they are. And they're like, that was so much fun here. And they hand you this whistle. Once you, if you blow this, you'll be able to uh, call us from wherever we are. <laughs> Ooh, like, like, like you'll, you'll just, just show, show up? up? Yes, that's right. What do you all like to do? Tricks. You, you like to do tricks. <laughs> One time, I turned a person into a pig. What, what, what did they, they do? do? And then one time, I turned somebody's tea into piss. I kind of hey, look, I make eye contact with Poppy. I don't send another message, but I kind of give her a look like, should we, like, go with this, or? What was that, Spence? Poppy gives you a look of, I said what I said. Was <laughs> <laughs> the word piss in the, in the rule book here? Did D&D did, did &D publish the word piss? No. This is me making this up. All of your Yeah. Also, I perk up when they say they turned somebody. Well, no, we never saw a pig in the carnival. We saw a child in a pig mask. 
Exactly. Um, do you say that out loud? No, I'm asking above the table. Correct. Okay. So never mind. Anyway, we can do little tricksy things. Hee <laughs> hee. But we won't do what we're asked. Unless you lie to us. Beautiful lies. Mm. Ooh, tell us lies. Tell us sweet little lies, they say. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> the bunny boy can lie to us all day. Well? Tree cheese, tree cheese! Um, door I, I stops. Boo! Them. Door stops. I tell, I tell them all about all the all the definitely real uh, mystical magical shit I've done. <laughs> As my time, my time is an adventure. Okay, okay, you don't have to, you know. Don't overdo it, there. But don't hurt <laughs> I yourself. I overdid it, Dave. <laughs> you are the most magical creature we've ever met, and we love you for it. <laughs> They, they get down and they're like, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> give, me, give me one example of a crazy magical thing you tell them that you did. I know how to fly. <laughs> we know how to fly. Not a big deal. Give us something yeah, better. But I'm, a, but I'm a big rabbit. Do your, do your ears turn into like helicopter things where you, and that's how that's you fly? Right. That's right. Oh! I have a lot of energy and I'm, and I'm a little tired. I can't do it right now. But, um, but you believe me. Oh, we do that joke all the time. We just flew in from here, and boy, are my wings tired. It's very it's funny every time. So funny. Yay! Because they think, they think you mean that you took an airplane, but, like, yeah. What's an airplane? <laughs> anyway. Okay, bye. Okay, okay bye! bye. whistle. You now have a reed whistle that summons three pixies. So that's cool. Where do you guys want to go next? Okay. Uh, wherever you guys want to go. That was a weird <laughs> conversation. You can go to the... You know that this way is a fairy circle. Oh, you guys can't see me. I'm on the wrong layer. Here we go. This is a fairy circle. Yeah. Or you can go around the fairy circle. And we and we want the fairy circles? It's just, and it is a, a potentially a way to get out of Prismere. Um, or it could be kind of a, you know, corrupted thing. Is Prismere just the area of, of thither that we're in? Prismere is the whole thing. Yeah, so the three lands, uh, hither, thither, and yon are the oh. three like lands controlled by the three hags. Um, I don't think I ever understood that. Ah, yes. So we were just in, in the Fey Wilds, you know. So, uh, oh, go ahead. Prismere is a domain of delight. Um, I believe that was kind of touched on last time a little bit. Um, you landed in Thither uh, initially. Um, ruled by uh, um, Babylonia, and now you are in Thither, and then you are, maybe, who knows, going to go to Yon next. Um, yeah. Okay. So there you go. The whole, whole dang place is called, it is called that. But we don't want to leave yet. Correct. Yeah, let's not go there. It's just side side winded like a snake. Like a slippery snake. Okay. Uh so you guys move to upper left. Yeah. Who hasn't rolled on the on the uh random table? Cool. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. He says. Yay. Ooh, tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. I want to point out that this dog is fully asleep. Oh, yeah. of course he Damn is. Damn right he is. Yeah. Um, so you are coming up 
to a uh, big bluff. You are kind of in the shadow of this great big uh, cliff bluff in front of you. And um, uh, as you are walking through the um, through the trees, you see a felled tree up in front of you. The splinters of its trunk are jutting into the air, and it doesn't take a druid, though, Poppy, you know this to be true, that um, this was a living tree. This was a this was a, a very like healthy live tree, um, and it has recently been felled. Uh, as you go to um, to investigate, or to as you get closer, you notice in the ground um, several giant paw, not paw prints, but you see prints. Each print in the ground spans three feet from heel to toe. Uh, somebody who is proficient in nature can make a uh, nature check. Hey, yo, I, I, I'm proficient in nature. Unless someone else is too. Uh, I'm definitely not. Not me. Not, not I. me. Okay, with a seven. Um, uh. <laughs> With a seven, you have no idea what made this. Um, no idea what made this. Uh, everybody make perception checks for me, please. Damn, May. May, you've been rolling hot on perception, I feel. I, I feel like today has been a good rolling day for me yeah. in general. Not common. Where are we? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, uh, Laz, you give me a perception, please. A fly goes in your eye. <laughs> no, uh, Violet, What? what is distracting you in this moment? I'm still thinking about those pixies. Yeah, they were, they were pretty silly. It having was their, just... It, having their little tea party. They were so welcoming, and then they were immediately like, okay, bye. I, I don't I just don't get them. And how can we use them? They're gonna. Tr they want to be tricked, but they're not gonna do what they're told. But if we could trick them into doing something that we want to do, that would be pretty amazing. So as you are as you are babbling on, um, everybody sees uh, from the ledge of this of this um, big butte in front of them. This uh, this. Um, what did I call it before? I keep using geography terms. Anyway, from the top of this cliff, um, you see a figure uh, like stretch its wings. A lar this is a very large figure. Stretch its wings and begin to leave. And as it like lifts itself off, it, you hear the start of a call. Now, Poppy, May, and Laz, you all begin to hear this, and you immediately put your your uh, hands over your ears because it is a very dis um, disorienting sound. I would say uh, it is unpleasant and makes you feel very uncomfortable, Love. and. At advantage, I would like lady, the lady, lady. I would like the three of you it's yodeling. to make a charisma saving throw, please. The three of you make a uh, charisma saving throw, and um, Violet, I would like you to make a straight charisma sa saving throw. Wait, how is hers straight and ours not? Is you are at advantage? advantage, and she is at disadvantage because she didn't see this creature. She was too distracted. Puppy. It's still pretty likable. Yeah. 
So even through even through your the hands in, on your ears and uh, uh, Violet, you are you are able to scrunch up as you hear this awful burbling. It's a loud burble. Um, but Poppy, can you roll me a d4, please? Uh, who would you say you are closest to right now, Poppy? Violet, because I'm attached to her. Okay. Am I holding her? Yeah, we all determined uh, that uh, Poppy got passed off onto you. Oh, that sounds wonderful. That happened in the hag's house. So as you okay. feel, as you uh, feel this like awful screeching burble. Um, penetrating your mind, you suddenly get your brain becomes feverish and you get very confused and and you feel unsafe. You feel very unsafe and that you need to flee. And you take out a melee weapon. Do you have a dagger or something on you? Probably have a dagger. Or or some something to make a melee attack. I have a sickle. You take out your sickle and you uh, lash out at the closest living thing, which is Violet. So please make a melee attack against Violet. Oh. With a with a natural one, um, you you go to rear up your sickle and it sticks into the tree behind you. And uh, six seconds go by, and you uh, regain your faculties. What the fuck was that? What just happened? I lost my sanity. <laughs> Do we know what made that noise? Whatever that, like, they, they can describe the creature, a wing, larger winged creature, took off from the top of this cliff that you are at the base of. Um, oh. And you are, you are next to uh, some three-toed, three-foot uh, tracks that, uh, that had felled this tree that you were near. Some awful uh, great beast. Can we like roll something like a history to figure out if we know what it is? Um, it's going to be pretty high with as little that you know about this, but if you've got a survival. I think what happened was someone else heard that and then got angry and punched a tree. Oh. Maybe. Because I had the urge to attack the closest thing to me, which was violent. You, you... Oh, is that why you threw your sickle in the tree? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Do you, you want to try for me. survival, anybody? I mean, I could try. I'm not very good at it. Yeah, do we not need to be proficient to make the check? Um, I think I'm most proficient in survival. And not me. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say, um, I'll say survival or history. Uh, this will always give Spencer the advantage, but I'll, I'll say survival or history. Oh, damn, puppy. Not this time. Not this time. Oh. Um, puppy, uh, between the call that just affected you. And the the track in front of you. This is reminiscent of a creature that you've only heard stories about. In fact, one this very is reminiscent of a creature I've only heard stories about. One oh. particular story that didn't make much sense at the time. But this brings to mind the terrible Jabberwocky. It's a Jabberwocky. 
And I think that's where we're going to end it. Oh, fuck. So if anybody oh. wants to read the CS uh, or the what the Carol poem, the Jabberwocky, that might give you some ideas. But also, it's a uh, completely nonsensical uh, poem, so it may give you nothing. <laughs> oh, nonsensical. It plays with sound and intonation. Okay. Hey, Spencer remembers sixth grade at Ada Harris Elementary. Oh. Spencer's pretty smart. Spencer's a very smart boy. No, because, you see, I, I already went through, that's everything I know about it. Oh, okay. I, I have a cursory knowledge of many things, but don't ask me any real questions. <laughs> like, that, like that cat in a Adventure Time. Exactly. I have a approximate knowledge of many things. The end. For me. Um, anyway. You are halfway to Little Oak, the um, the uh, hiding place of Will of the Feywild, um, the one, what's it called, um, challenging force against Granny Nightshade here in Thither. Um, to the northeast of you, uh, you do see through the trees and uh, past a, a river a uh, pool. There's a, a large pool surrounded by large rocks. I'm gonna say you see you see these large rocks <laughs> since they're put, jutting up. You see these. Ooh. Um. Right? And then uh, Little Oak is uh, far to the north. About, judging by the scale, 5, 10, 15, maybe 20, 25 miles. Is Little Oak the giant uh, humanoid treehouse? Correct. Like, Wee! It's the Lost Boys. I love it. Uh, so, uh, you, you were described what Little Oak was as a treant. Um, who uh, yes, yes. serves to protect the uh, Will Will's group, known as the Getaway Gang. The Getaway Gang. That's right. Um, so you're on your way to see the Getaway Gang, and yeah, pretty much the Lost Boys. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so good game. Two weeks. Um, hopefully, we'll get. Colt back with that a little bit I'm of back with a false start there. I guess he got home like like nine o'clock. He got home like an hour ago from his trip. So yeah. good good thing he didn't try and push himself. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Well, post the episode so he can see it. Of course. Have I not been posting? I, I I don't think I've been posting, huh? Um, I'll I, I will. Redouble my efforts. Anyway, have a good night, I'll everybody. I'll be out next, week. Week. I'll I'll be out next session. session. You're out next session. Uh, is there a, another day we might be able to to work? Uh, not Tuesday. No, not Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. I can't do Wednesday or Thursday that week. Okay. Well, then Sunday or Friday. Sunday the 23rd, maybe? I could do that. At night, night. yes. Yeah, yeah, at night. Sunday night the 23rd. Spencer, do you have any issues with that? Maybe. Uh, I don't think so. James the Thie? Uh, pr Probably not, but I'd have to double check. <laughs> you got to check with the wife? You got to check. Aww. With my wife, he says. Yeah. You should probably ask your wife. <laughs> um, and then I'll see what uh, Colt has to say. But okay, so maybe the twenty third. If not, then we'll uh, we'll push it back. But oh. okay, everybody, have a good rest of your week. Talk to you later. Bye. 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 Bye.